What would you be doing if you weren't an actress? I'd be a school teacher. Really? Mm -hmm. Everybody would call me Miss Roberts. Oh. Miss Roberts, could I go to the bathroom? No, sit down. <laughs> You'd be a strict school no, teacher? No, I would be, I would long to be like everybody's favorite teacher, you know? Like the, the one that people, that the kids thought was cool, even though you were a grown-up, that they still thought that you like understood them. You, they come hang out in your room exactly. just because. Exactly. That's really nice. That, I mean, is that something you could see yourself still doing one day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, do you actually have a plan for that? I don't, I don't have a plan. I've never had a plan. I'm not a planner. I'm a spontaneous kind of person, but I, I, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't eliminate any possibilities at this point, really. Because I mean, I have a great job now, and I think that I'll always have this job in one way or another um, because it brings a lot of joy to my life. But I can also see other things happening too, and that that could be one of them. Yeah, that's really nice. It's a really nice thing to do mm. for yourself as well as Well, I had else. some really great teachers, and actually the moment when I knew I wanted to be an actor was in an English class when I was a senior in high school, Mrs. Gutherman's English class, and she showed us Beckett, a film with Peter O'Toole and Richard Burton. And I was so overwhelmed by that movie, I thought, wow, I'd like to be that strong, you know, do something like that. So that was the real turning point for my brain to consciously commit to this idea of a job.